Once prostate cancer is diagnosed, a lot of information is, is assembled to really characterize the individual's cancer situation. The grade of the cancer is really what the cancer looks like under the microscope. Not all prostate cancers are the same, and grading in prostate cancer is very important. Pretty much worldwide, the system that's used for grading prostate cancer is called the Gleason system or the Gleason score. In reality, this scoring system runs from 2 to 10. And again, it reflects what the prostate cancer looks like. But in reality, it's used as a sort of scale of how aggressive the cancer is. The way this works in practical terms is that prostate cancers that have a Gleason score of less than or equal to 6 are considered low in terms of being on the aggressiveness scale. In, co in, in contrast, Gleason score tumors 8 through 10 are very aggressive and are considered the high, most aggressive tumors. Gleason 7 cancers are somewhat problematic. They are pretty much set on the fence between the low and high grade tumors. And some of them can behave more like low grade tumors, others more like high grade tumors. So they're in the middle category. But this grading system allows us to categorize a given patient's tumor in terms of how aggressive it is. The second thing that's done is the, patient is, the patient's cancer is assigned a stage. Stage simply means what is the extent of the tumor. And in prostate cancer, the staging system that's widely used is referred to as the TNM system. And that stands for the status of the tumor within the prostate, whether there are any lymph nodes involved or whether they're spread beyond the lymph nodes around the prostate. Prostate tumors that are found on the basis of an elevated PSA are the most common stage. That's considered T1C. And that's the vast majority of patients with early stage prostate cancer. If a patient has cancer that is able to be felt by the doctor on a rectal examination, they're considered stage T2. Patients that have a prostate tumor that is felt, but it, it's very suspicious or is clearly outside the prostate, that is T3. And if the cancer is quite large and stuck to surrounding structures, it is considered T4. This information, consisting of the grade of the cancer, which again, reflects how aggressive it is, the stage, which reflects what, how extensive it is, and the PSA are really the three fundamental factors that we use to categorize a patient's prostate cancer and to select appropriate treatments. 